What's up, Porsche fanatics? Will here with Renthusiast, my YouTube channel that is all about air-cooled Porsche 911 ownership experience. And if you are here today because you are interested in learning more about a long hood Porsche 911 hot rod, then I've got great news for you because I'm gonna take you through my new to me 1969 Porsche 911T hot rod in Aussie blue. I've wanted one of these cars for quite some time and I consider myself so lucky to have found one recently. This is a tough, tough market to find any interesting 911s and so I just couldn't believe that I uh, came across this car less than 45 minutes away from me. This car that I recently picked up is done so well. It is a solid example. It's had rust repair done right solid motor, all sorts of really cool features about it, which I'll take you through in a moment. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you through the car, let you understand a little bit more about it. I'm gonna talk you through why exactly I sold a Unicorn 964 in order to make room for this car and why I personally think this car is better than a 964. I'm gonna share with you the types of videos that we're gonna be doing on the car. Uh, and then I'm also going to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to do to make this car my own. Before I jump into all of that though, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. I cover air-cooled Porsche 911 ownership experience. I share with you what's great about it, maybe what's not so great about it. And I've been told that the good thing about this channel is that it is true to life. It's not overdone, it's not dressed up. It just is one guy's experience with these cars. So if you're looking to learn more about what it's like to live with them, then subscribe. I also like to invite you to come jump in my Facebook group, Renthusiast Air Cooled Porsche Fans. Guys are constantly talking air cooled 911 in there. So, with all that out of the way, let's jump into the main event. All right, guys, here we are, my new to me 1969 Porsche 911 T. This car is far off from stock, it is squarely in the hot rod category. As you can see, it's in a beautiful Aussie blue color. This is the color the car came from the factory. It has since been a different color or colors, but here we have a fresh paint job back to the original factory Aussie blue. This car has a really, really interesting backstory to it, which I'm not gonna share with you right now. Um, I am friends with the guy uh, who I bought this car from and he he put a lot of decision making into this car when he got it it needed a lot of work it needed motor work it needed rust repair it needed the paint and uh, I'm gonna be doing a video with him next on this car to share with you guys the backstory so if you're not a subscriber please subscribe so you're notified when I publish that so now let me get into this and why I wanted this car and what I like about it so far. So if you've been around, you know that I just sold a beautiful 1992 Porsche 911 964 Coupe C2 killer, killer, killer car. Owned that car for about a year and I decided to sell it. Um, I did a video, the five reasons I decided to sell that 964. I'll put a card up to that. But really, um, for the sake of this video, I'll just tell you that I sold that car to make room for what I deem to be a more engaging driving experience. So I've been into air-cooled Porsches for right at three years now. And over the course of those three years, I've learned a lot about like what I do want, what I don't want out of my cars. And so what I don't want is something that's really too nice to drive. And the 964 fell into that category. So that was that. Now this car, I've only had a chance to put about two hours in the driver's seat uh, and I've owned this for about three weeks now and uh, the reason is I'm having it gone through by my mechanic and friend Eric Lynn so the car's been over to his house. Anyway, point I'm making to you is that based on my two hours of driving this car I can tell you it is an absolute screamer. It's a hoot. It is so engaging when you're behind the wheel of something like this it's lightweight and with this hot rod motor which i'll get into in a moment um, it just makes it kind of a it's a totally different category of classic 911 driving experience than i've that i've had so you guys can see went ahead and ordered up the antique auto plate car is 50 plus years old definitely qualifies i've always loved this look on these early cars. 
to me there's just something so captivating about this angle and I gotta say too I love pop out rear windows just something so neat about those now I'll talk to you a little bit about the wheels I don't think these wheels are helping this car um, if you guys like mini lights or replica mini lights I'll do respect I don't think it's a good look at least in the dark gray on this blue just not for me so um, I do have some new wheels inbound uh, they are 16s and I will save those for you later I'm gonna be doing another video that'll be a third video on this car with with my mechanic Eric and we're gonna talk through what the car needs to get it a little bit more buttoned up than it is now uh, and in that video I'll share with you the wheels and the tire choices and all that so along the lines of getting it buttoned up and sorted I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the motor it is a 2.8 MFI engine and it is definitely definitely fun I have heard that MFI is painful to dial in um, I am not mechanically inclined I have watched a video on YouTube before about like all the mechanisms to get it balanced and running just right and it definitely looked like a nightmare um, but let me just show it to you car runs good now so whoever did the work to get it to where it is did a good job so I'm going to be spoiler alert and we'll talk about this in the third video but I'm gonna be cleaning up this engine I shouldn't say I uh, Eric is gonna be cleaning up this engine I've got some air cleaners on the way and we're gonna work on the tins and just get this to be a little bit more presentable I don't want it to be too um, too pretty if you will because I'm gonna drive this car and I don't need it to be you know cars and coffee worthy or you know concours worthy but I'd, I would like to kind of tidy it up some so we'll get into that there's gonna be an, an upgraded ignition system and some other things that will go into that I don't know what exhaust is on here I do know that it pops so nicely on the deceleration which I think is the MFI a uh, reason guys love the MFI let's jump inside now so as you can see definitely off of stock you get your Momo wheel in there and yes we jumped ahead and put a wrench shift in there this car has a 901 transmission which means it has the dog leg first I was super excited to learn you know which I knew the 69 had that um, I it's taking a little bit of getting used to but uh, the shift pattern is very different than of course the 915 um, so that's been that'll be fun but this uh, the short shift kit from Ren shift has definitely cleaned up the throws and just feels crisper as you can see the car has RS door cards and it's got these old Recaros with corduroy centers and they're fine but I'm gonna go ahead and just share with you guys that we're gonna be replacing that, replacing these seats. Car has a new headliner. And uh, I will show you something else I'll be working on. Um, I'm gonna get these, get these gauges refurbished. I don't know if the, the camera picks it up, but they're definitely showing their age and I just, I feel like I wanna, um, you know get them get them redone now question for you guys i would love your opinion i'm toying with the idea of getting the face of the tack done in aussie blue to match the paint so i'd love to hear your opinions man is that too much is it over the top or do you think it would be a neat touch um i kind of see both sides of it so car has an rs carpet kit in it also has a rear seat delete um and it's running uh, four-point harnesses in it. I'm ditching those. They're just kind of painful to to live with. I got three-point seat belts coming in. So yeah, I I wish I could give you all the ins and outs and the mechanical info and all that good stuff on the car. That's coming a little bit later. So you know, again, if you 
haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to. I'd appreciate it. And you can learn more about this car. So I don't know if you're if you tripped over this video because you're in the market or you're just uh, an air-cooled Porsche fanatic and you just tripped over or you're always looking for air-cooled content like me. But either either way, definitely would love to have you along the along for this journey. Um, if you could too, join my Facebook group for enthusiast air-cooled Porsche fans. And uh, I keep guys in that group notified of like events and things like that that I'm putting together. So, so there you have it. If you're still with me, I really appreciate you sticking around. And um, we're going to have fun with this one. I'll see you next time. I'm out of here.